Yeah, this is really sketchy. Really sketchy. Oh my gosh. That's really sketchy. Woo! Southern California problems, guys. Just putting in some throwing time again. Gotta do what I gotta do, guys. All right, what's up, guys? It's about 9.30 right now. Yeah, so I got to sleep in today. It's good to have two days off. Basically woke up. So some of you may be familiar with this, but um, I've been getting really bad night sweats for the past probably about month, two months lately. And um, just something to note, but unfortunately I got my, old, my new Chelsea Lifts shirt all sweaty. But anyways, uh, so I see some sun outside right now. Um, I'm just gonna go. Was gonna maybe go for a ride, but the ground's all wet. There's no real point in that, so uh, probably just gonna go train again. Um, yeah, it's about 9:30 right now, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the day, but um, hopefully enjoy my last day off before the weekend starts and I get crazy again. So stay tuned for the day. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Shout out to Strava. Nine thousand three hundred seventy-two miles for two thousand fifteen. <laughs> Almost a million five hundred thousand feet. Cute. Only one KOM. Lots of kudos, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, coming to you guys again with another voiceover. This is gonna be footage from my pull session from yesterday. I hit heavy deadlifts and I uh, got to try out my new spin shoes for uh, for my spin intervals that I'll be doing uh, more often. Uh, this session was actually really, really sweet. Um, you guys will see it later on in the later portion of the workout footage, but I actually managed to get 360 for a double, which is really, really cool. And uh, managed to uh, put my trolling I call my troll pants, my, my nice blue tights. Now I got those pants because I couldn't find black and I really do not give a single shit about anybody that laughs at me for lifting in these because I really just don't care, seriously. Uh, anyway, so uh, pretty much sped through my warm up sets and like I said earlier, I won't be putting up the stats uh, to those, just really just my top stats or my top sets I should say are the ones I really care about. Um, so. I got 315 for five and uh, went straight into 360 for, I wanted to get a triple, but um, I managed to get a double out of it. You guys will see that I pulled, um, I pulled right around, I, I, I mean, I got the pull off the way I wanted it to, and uh, the third rep, it just wasn't gonna come up. So I did not want to take any risks or anything like that. And um, yeah, so I got it and managed to uh, to get that going. But other than that, it really wasn't anything significant. So uh, it's still a PR for me, still added five pounds to the bar, which is good. And I wanna keep things going that direction. So other than that, finished off with some shrugs and uh, did some curls and everything like that and some other uh, dumbbell rolls, dumbbell roll, dumbbell rows app as well, but I didn't film them. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage and enjoyed the rest of the video. Stay tuned for it. See you guys. Well guys, deadlift session got cut short. Got a little fire alarms, right? It is insane right now. Thunderstorms are crazy right now in San Diego. We have a ton of flooding, 
tons of flooding. SoCal weather. Alrighty guys, I have a gift card and I plan on using it. Let's do this. Out of all the things that I got today, it's funny because the thing I'm most stoked about is my new rice cooker. It's a shame I probably won't be using it tonight because I'm making pizza for the live stream, but oh well. That feel when new rice cooker though. Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, so it's Wednesday night, and you may notice something a little bit different right now. That's my mixer. I'm gonna be trying to make Chicago style pizza tonight. I'm not gonna say authentic Chicago style pizza, but I'm gonna try to do this. Let's get to it, guys. All right, we're about to check out how the pizza came out. Shout out to everybody in the live stream. Say what's up, everybody. Oh, look at that pizza, guys. Look at that pizza. It's not serious. It is probably not gonna come together, though, somehow. Boom. Now, it's not authentic Chicago-style deep dish, but at least it's a start. Like I said to the live stream already, I'm already I'm really excited to try this out because of the crust. Obviously it got a little demolished, but you guys can see it got a little demolished eating pizza with a fork. Well guys. Boom! I've done it. I'm a magician. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to come to you guys and actually hopefully get some help, opinions, advice before I, yes, send my DSLR that I just bought, return it back and hopefully get my money back for it because I'm just not really happy or satisfied with uh, what I've been getting lately. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds what I'm dealing with, but basically, long story short, I got the camera, I've been super stoked about it. Uh, filmed some, uh, film my first vlog in a few clips when I was deadlifting with my buddy, and uh, put them in my computer and uploaded them into Final Cut Pro, and that's what I used to edit with, and this is what I got.
I'm sure you guys can see the huge amount of fuzziness, if you want to say, that's going on right now. Um, and both of them, my Canon is being filmed with a 1080 60, 1080p in um, 60 FPS, and this is right now we're in 1280, um, and it's still 60 FPS. But it's still it's baffling to me that um, I've literally I've tried literally everything I can. Um, but you guys can see like the background and just. Like looking at everything is just fuzzy it's not right and uh, the big thing the problem really stood out to me when I plugged it into or tried uploading it from this camera to my phone and it said that the content wasn't supported so it makes me think that um, the, there's something wrong with uh, you know like a, a formatting issue or there's just there's something going on with it um, I mean and it doesn't look crisp that's the biggest thing out of all of this like none of this looks crisp um, I'm filming on a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and it's not, I mean, it's a $250 lens, so it's not like it's bad. Um, I've tried messing with every possible feature, ISO, aperture, f-stop, everything, but it's not those things. It's it's not um, it's not the ISO, it's not anything. It's um, I've tried messing with the auto settings, and it's just, it's all the same. So I just feel like there's something, there's something fishy going on. Um, so if anybody has experience with a Canon 70D, um, please let me know if you've had similar issues or know of any possible solution to it. So it would help me out a lot. Uh, I really want to get this dialed in. So thanks guys and hopefully I can get a solution. See ya. Alrighty guys, so right now we're about to try the Canadian Farm Honey Nut Crunch um, organic cereal. Uh, this one caught my eye in the cereal aisle and I really wanted to give it a shot. I've actually never had a uh, Cascadian Farm product before, so this is a completely new cereal. I really want to give it a shot, so let's get to it, guys. Boom. Bad texture, though. Let's do it. First impressions, this is identical to Honey Bunches of Oats. It's like I think that the creators of the cereal, Cascadian Farms, I think, literally just copied everything from Honey Bunches of Oats. Good. And I approve of this cereal simply because Honey Bunches of Oats is one of my top cereals of all time. You can definitely taste the, the honey in it. Um, there's not really any clusters. I don't really get that with this cereal. I give it a seven out of 10. It's a very, very good cereal. Don't, don't get me wrong. Be sure to give it a shot.